A chemical reaction is a process in which one or more substances are converted into something new. And a chemical equation is just simply a symbolic written description of a chemical reaction. Chemists view chemical equations like recipes. They are instructions on how to carry out a chemical reaction. This is an example of a chemical equation. So this is a, a symbolic written description of a chemical reaction. This particular reaction that's um, symbolized with this equation is the reaction known as photosynthesis, where plants convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen gas. In this particular video, I'm gonna introduce you to the basic features of a chemical equation so that when you look at them, you understand what all the different symbols represent. All chemical equations feature an arrow. We call it the reaction arrow, somewhere in the middle of the equation. The arrow separates our starting material from our final material. The starting material is always referred to as the reactant or reactants if there are more than one. And these are the things that we are starting with. And our final material is always referred to as the product or products. So these are the things that we make in this reaction. A lot of the notation you should recognize, these are just molecular formulas, so you're familiar with the atomic symbols and the subscripts, which tell you how many of each type of atom is present in the different molecules, like this six just lets us know that there are six carbon atoms, and this two lets us know that there are two oxygen atoms in these particular molecules. There are some new numbers that are featured in chemical equations, these numbers that are present in the front of a molecular formula. So let's highlight those guys. These numbers are referred to as coefficients. Sometimes they are referred to as stoichiometric coefficients, which is a lot of syllables. So we'll just call them coefficients for now. And the coefficients are telling us the quantity of each molecule in the chemical equation or the chemical reaction. So the way that we would read this is that this particular reaction requires six molecules of CO2, and it requires six molecules of H2O, and it produces six molecules of O2. When the coefficient of a substance is one, then the one is implied and isn't written into this equation. So when a coefficient is missing, like it is in front of this molecule, it's implied that it's just a one. So we'll go ahead and draw an arrow right there. No, no coefficient just means one. The other thing that I want to point out to you that's new notation is that after each one of these molecular formulas, in parentheses, there is a lowercase letter. This is something that's not always present in chemical equations. Sometimes we leave this notation out, we just skip it entirely, um, and occasionally it's there. When it is there, I do want you to know what those, those uh, letters represent. The letters in parentheses after each molecular formula indicates the state of that particular substance. So G, as you can imagine, stands for gas, and L is the symbol for liquid, and that's a cursive L or an italicized L. These are all lowercase italicized or cursive letters. S is for solid. So the way we would read this is six molecules of carbon dioxide that are in the gas phase react with six molecules of water molecule in the liquid phase, and they produce one molecule of C6H12O6 as a solid, and also six molecules of O2 as a gas. There is a fourth state that you'll sometimes see written in chemical equations. It's not present in this particular one. And that fourth one is the symbol AQ, which stands for aqueous. Aqueous just means in water. So if you see the notation, um, like let's say it could be NaClAq, that just simply means that you have NaClAq 
in water. And for whatever reason, one reason or another, water is not being listed in the chemical reaction as a reactant or as a product. In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to balance a chemical equation.